Hey, Tom here. Welcome to my channel, Tom Loves DIY. I'm pretty excited today to bring you this video. I've received my Nemo Hornet two-person tent. Got it on eBay at a bargain price. And you might wonder why I need another tent, but can a guy have too many tents and too much gear? Nah. So, there's only two problems with this tent. One is that the uh, zipper pull on one of the rainfly zippers is missing, so you know I have to replace that. That's a pretty easy fix. I can pick up a small zipper somewhere. Just got to match the size. I think I'm able to put that back together. The other issue is a little bit bigger. This tent has no poles. I thought, how hard can it be? I'll contact Nemo, order a pole set, Bob's your uncle. So I contacted Nemo and they told me, no pole sets for you. They don't have any for sale. They did send me a hub, <laughs> which goes with this tent and works with the DAC Featherlight NFL poles that it normally uses. I'm not sure what good this is going to do me, but they sent it to me for free, so I can't fault them for that. Trying to find poles that would work with this hub that fit the tent has been a challenge. I've spent quite a bit of time online trying to find them. Uh, there are some Easton poles that might work, but in my search, I found a site that listed several tents that use the same poles as the Nemo. They're from Marmot, North Face, Big Agnes, and so I thought, why not? try one of those. So I reached out to Big Agnes with the help from Gabby, their customer service rep. I ordered a set of poles that work with the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 tent and they've arrived. Let's check them out. Now these are the DAC Featherlight NFL poles. They both use the same poles. Even sent me a uh, stuff sack and here they are. Wow, those are nice. Wow, they are super lightweight. Comes with the spreader bar, which I won't need with this because it has built-in plastic spreader bars. They're about that wide. The hub is obviously a little different. This looks like 120 degrees on each and this is a little narrower. I doubt that you can see it, but this is maybe 90, 100 degrees. I don't know if that'll be a problem, but if it is, I can remove this hub. You know, I have to take things apart, but no big deal. Put that hub in, put it back together. So I'm going to take this outside and set it up and see how well this pole set fits the Nemo Hornet 2P. So come on, come on with me. Let's check it out. Hey, I'm out in my front yard got the tent some stakes. I stopped along the way and removed the spreader bar so this should be ready to go. I'm gonna get it set up. Okay let's see I've never set this up before but can't be too different from my other tents. I'm gonna loosely stake out loosely staking out the corners. Now let's see how the pull set goes together and how well it fits. Things are actually pretty amazing. The uh, way they just snap together into one big support structure. Pretty cool. Okay, they were they color-coded the end so that you don't mix it up. I guess that's something that uh, they were worried about. So this goes down here. Goes into the grommet, okay. And these go into the Jake's foot.
Hopefully they're the right size. Pretty good so far. These go up here. The spreader bars, pretty cool. Let's see what we got down here. I got a clip. And a pair of clips. Now these have to come out here. I can see that things this this pole set might be a little long. Make an adjustment. Okay. That's really tight. The bathtub is up properly. Yeah, let's see how the rainfly fits. Seam looks like it runs pretty much right across the tent poles. Going to stake this out. So far, I think this is pretty good. I think that this length here is a bit bigger, this top length. I think that the hub probably should be back here because I've got a seam running this way. It's almost like there's one pole too many. So far, this actually looks usable. It's not the perfect configuration, but not bad. Let me show you around. You can see here what I'm saying. Here's the pole and there's the seam. So I think this hub probably belongs up here, which would be why this hub is narrower on the Nemo. But all in all, pretty good. You can see here where the zipper pull is missing. It's held together with a safety pin. But I think this is going to work. I'll do an update when I get this repaired. In the meantime, hope to see you on the trail. Thanks for watching.